It's been no secret how iconic of a franchise Uncharted is for PlayStation. Since its launch on the PlayStation 3 in 2007, players around the globe have joined Nathan Drake and his memorable band of treasure hunters in numerous sequels and spin-offs ranging from various PlayStation platforms, mobile devices, comics, and a novel. Drake's adventures were crafted with an emphasis on cinematic experience, so clearly a film would be a no-brainer. Bringing Uncharted to the big screen would take over a decade in development hell, with various scripts written, directors entering and exiting the project, and one infamous pandemic delaying the final product. Uncharted is lucky, some films never make it out of development hell, but in 2022, Uncharted finally hit movie theaters. But to talk about the end, we must go back to the beginning, all the way to 2007. Uncharted Drake's Fortune launches onto the struggling PlayStation 3 and introduces the world to treasure hunter Nathan Drake. While not necessarily as beloved or talk about as later titles, Naughty Dog's first game on the PlayStation 3 becomes an instant hit, and launches a widely successful and acclaimed franchise. News of an Uncharted film began to circulate. Film producer Avi Arad, who is probably best known for producing the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man trilogy, makes a statement on working with Sony to adapt Uncharted into a film, which Columbia Pictures will later confirm. The film is set to be written by the writing duo of Thomas Dean Donnelly and Joshua Oppenheimer and produced by Avi Arad, Charles Roven, and Alex Gartner. In June, it's revealed that the Uncharted film has been in development for a year and a half. Actor Nathan Fillion, who many may know from shows like Firefly, Castle, and The Rookie, expresses interest in playing Nathan Drake and starts a Twitter campaign to achieve this. It gains traction, but doesn't work. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves hits the PlayStation 3 and significantly improves upon everything from Drake's fortune and introduces a multiplayer component. The game is regarded as one of the best titles on the system, one of the best in the series, and helps to ignite a more cinematic storytelling approach in video games. David O. Russell is set to write and direct the film, with the premise being based on the first game, Uncharted Drake's Fortune. At a screening of Russell's film The Fighter, Russell is approached by a fan and asked if he's considering Nathan Fillion for the role of Nathan Drake. Russell is unaware of the high interest in Fillion, namely the Twitter campaign, and is quick to dismiss the idea. During an MTV interview with Mark Wahlberg, he discusses his involvement with the film with the hopes of shooting in the middle of 2011, confirming his lead role as Nathan Drake. He also mentions Joe Pesci and Robert De Niro were in discussions to be in the film, with De Niro playing Drake's father while Pesci plays his uncle two characters never featured in the video games. David O. Russell departs the film in May to direct Silver Linings Playbook, a film that would garner many awards and nominations, and it was likely a wise choice on his part. Neil Berger replaces Russell as director in July, with the script being rewritten from scratch. 2011 sees multiple Uncharted releases, Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception for the PlayStation 3, an Uncharted 6 issue comic series, a novel Uncharted the Fourth Labyrinth, and the PlayStation Vita exclusive Uncharted Golden Abyss. In August, Neil Berger drops out of Uncharted to direct Divergent, the film adaption of the popular book series, a film series that couldn't even finish its fourth and final movie. The studio then hires husband and wife writer team of Cormac and Marianne Wiberly to rewrite the film. Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg are asked to write the film multiple times, but declined. In February, it's reported that Seth Gordon would direct the film, David Guggenheim is to write the script, and production on the film is set to begin in early 2015 with a release date of June 10th, 2016. Guggenheim is later out for writing the script, and the studio hires Mike Bull to write the film in November. Sometime in the years after 2010, Mark Wahlberg exited the project as Nathan Drake, and Chris Pratt was approached to play the character, but thankfully declines. Sony Pictures is hacked in 2014. Personal information, emails, copies of unreleased Sony films, Sony's plans for future films, and scripts of certain films are stolen. One of these scripts stolen will be a version of Uncharted by David Guggenheim, and the fully written script is leaked online in April. Director Seth Gordon leaves the project in June to work on the 2017 Baywatch film starring Dwayne Johnson and Zac Efron. Uncharted's release is pushed back to June 30th, 2017. During an interview with Games News Official, Nathan Drake's voice and motion capture actor Nolan North believes fans don't want an Uncharted film, likely due to the fact that the game is already a cinematic experience. Uncharted debuts on the PlayStation 4 with Uncharted The Nathan Drake Collection, featuring remasters of the first three Uncharted games. Naughty Dog's Neil Druckmann says the most important aspect of the film is the relationships of the characters, much like the games. The Uncharted series 
series fully returns on the PlayStation 4 in May with Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, and completes Nathan Drake's story. In July, it's reported that Joe Carnahan is writing a draft of the film's script. On September 1st, Sony removes the film from their release calendar due to the lack of a director or cast, but remains firm on continuing with the film. Sean Levy is hired as director in October, with filming set to begin in early 2017. In January, Joe Carnahan posts the title page of the film's completed script on Instagram. In May, Tom Holland is cast as Nathan Drake. Originally set to be DLC to Uncharted 4, Uncharted The Lost Legacy becomes so big in its release as its own smaller price game in August. It stars Chloe Frazier from Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3. The Uncharted series celebrates its 10th anniversary that November. Television writer Rafe Judkins is brought in as a co-writer to rework the script. A 15-minute short fan film directed by Alan Unger is posted onto YouTube starring Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake. It receives praise towards the performances and action scenes with support from Naughty Dog. December sees Sean Levy departing the film to work on Free Guy starring Ryan Reynolds. Dan Trachtenberg signs on to direct in January. The film is now set to be released on December 18th, 2020. However, Dan Trachtenberg leaves the film in August, with the film still scheduled to go into production in early 2020. Travis Knight is hired to direct in September, Mark Wahlberg returns to the project in November, but instead of playing Nathan Drake, he's set to play Victor Sullivan. Travis Knight leaves the Uncharted film in December due to scheduling conflicts with Tom Holland, and the film loses its December 18th, 2020 release date. January sees Zombieland director Ruben Flesher in talks to direct. The film's release is pushed to March 5th, 2021, and Ruben Flesher is officially confirmed as the film's director in February. Antonio Banderas, Sofia Ali, and Tati Gabrielle are cast as Santiago Moncada, Chloe Fraser, and Joe Braddock, who is basically a lesser version of Nadine Ross. Screenwriting duo Art Markham and Matt Holloway contribute to the film's script. Uncharted finally begins filming in March at Babelsberg Studios outside of Berlin, Germany. However, filming is shut down and delayed days later by the COVID-19 pandemic. Filming resumes in July. In August, Antonio Banderas tests positive for COVID-19 and returns later in the month after recovering. Filming moves to Berlin in September, and then in October, production shoots for various scenes in Spain. Tom Holland finishes shooting his scenes, and production on the film concludes in October. Days later, Holland quickly moves on to filming Spider-Man No Way Home. Reshoots take place in Madrid in July. In October, the premiere trailer for the Uncharted movie is uploaded online, with a release date of February 18th, 2022. January sees Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection for the PlayStation 5. It features remasters of Uncharted 4 A Thief's End and Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Like the movie tie-in games of yesteryear, this release helped to promote the upcoming film. Digital pre-orders on the PlayStation Store in the US, UK, Australia, or New Zealand received a ticket to see the film at participating regal movie theaters. Uncharted premieres at the Cinema Coliseum in Barcelona on February 7th, and the Uncharted film is finally released theatrically on February 18th in the United States. Critical reception of the film is mixed. Reviewers found the film underwhelming and misleading as an adaptation of the popular video game franchise. However, they did appreciate Tom Holland's performance as Nathan Drake and praised the various action sequences. The film sees Nathan Drake team up with Victor Sullivan and Chloe Frazier in a race against a corrupt billionaire for the legendary treasure of the Magellan Expedition. The film loosely blends in action sequences and plot points from Uncharted 4 Thief's End, Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception, and a small bit of Uncharted Drake's Fortune while containing its own story. In March, Uncharted is banned in Vietnam for containing illegal images of the Nine Dash Line on a treasure map depicting the South China Sea being part of China's territory. In April, the Philippines also bans Uncharted due to the Nine Dash Line. Despite controversial issues and the mixed reception, the film becomes a blockbuster hit at the box office. With an estimated budget of $120 million, the film earns an impressive $401.7 million. As the making of this video, Uncharted is the fifth highest grossing video game film adaptation of all time. With the film's success, chairman of Sony Pictures Tom Rothman states Uncharted is a new franchise for Sony, but again, as the making of this video, a sequel surprisingly hasn't been officially greenlit, but for fans of the film wanting more, this is a good sign nevertheless. From humble beginnings to box office domination, Uncharted has started PlayStation Productions off to a strong star and it's only the beginning. This certainly won't be the last time we see the adventures of Tom Holland's Nathan Drake, but where Uncharted goes from here and how it adapts different elements from the game series will be interesting to see. 
So let me know your thoughts on Uncharted's development hell in the comments below. Did you enjoy the movie? Please be sure to like and subscribe for future content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.